For 56 of the 71 newest Maine lawmakers, Thursday in Augusta was like the first day of school. At the head of the class, outgoing Senate President Kevin Ray, welcoming the group with insight and advice. 26-year-old House newcomer Ryan Tipping Spitz of Orono says the new task is daunting but humbling. It's a great feeling, uh, but I know that every seat in there is still the people's seat. And I know that uh, I'm going home to the district uh, every day uh, and making sure that I'm, I'm engaging with folks. I work at a hardware store, so it's not too hard for people to get a hold of me. And for sitting lawmakers, the new blood means forward movement. In my six years in the legislature, I have never seen such an amazing group come in. Um, and certainly on the Democratic side, and I look forward to meeting with the, with the new uh, Republican members as well. Uh, but we have over 40 new Democrats that are coming in. Um, they are farmers, teachers, small business owners, doctors, and um, they bring a wealth of experience and information. It's actually very refreshing. Uh, uh, people are coming in with, uh, from all over the state with their own ideas about how state government should run and what state government should be doing. So uh, I'm very excited about seeing a new, a new group of people come in here. The freshman class toured the state house in groups, but not before learning dense material about committees, bill filing procedures, workplace standards, IT, and payroll. And there's still more transition work to be done. Nominations for constitutional officers scheduled for December 4th, the votes to be taken on December 5th, then a brief holiday respite, and come next January, the start of the 126th Maine Legislature. In Augusta, I'm Jared Pliner.